Wednesday. So I'm not going to be able to record anything. So instead of just disappearing, I'm going to pre-record um, a handful of videos. I'm not sure how many yet. Um, this is the first one um, so that I can post them while I'm away. Because I know some of you will miss me, right? <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, so today's this video, tonight in tonight's video, I'm going to rate the Stardew Valley Bachelors and Bachelorettes. I love Stardew Valley. Um, I've been playing it for not actually that long, but I, I, I adore it. It's addictive. I did not expect to enjoy it as much as I do. And I know there's kind of a crossover between ASMR fans and Stardew Valley fans because Stardew Valley is so relaxing to play. Relaxing, 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 relaxing. So I thought I would, um, yeah, I would, I'm going to rate them all. Okay, so the first character that I'm going to rate, I will go in order from my least favorite do my favorites and some of you are not going to agree with this list and that is fine we all have our own experiences of playing the games but if you do agree let me know and if you don't tell me why like tell me who your favorite characters are and um yeah, who your favorite characters are as well okay without further ado let's start from the bottom to the top coming in last with 3 out of 10 is unfortunately Harvey 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 with his mustache Harvey 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 when I first started playing Stardew and I first met Harvey I was like oh my god look at that piece of man um, I was like oh my goodness I was like I have to romance Scott romance Harvey and um my partner who has played the whole game before was like I don't I think you're gonna change your mind and I did not um realize how boring Harvey is I have tried so many times he's so dull I get it like I understand that he's like from a family of doctors and he's a doctor and he's got this pressure on him but I was just like do you have to share that with me? Do you have to share that with me? Um, I just felt really bored. I was just like, oh my god, like, can you, like, <laughs> can you not, you know what I mean? Um, I, yeah, so I don't like Harvey. Now, like, I like parts of his character. I like that he's caring, he's obviously a workaholic and he's got his own story and I get that, like I understand the, the, what they were trying to do or what Concerned Ape was trying to do and trying to achieve with his character but it's like even when you reach like 10 hearts with him he just carries on with his whole like I'm a doctor by the way, did you know I'm a doctor? You should take care of your health and it's like I don't want to be parented Thank you. I'm an adult. <laughs> um, so I've just never really clicked with Harvey. I really wanted to. I really, really did. And I think he's sweet. He's just... He's not really romance material for me. I just feel like he is the most boring character in the game. Apart from Jody. Jody, 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 Jody. Who is also really boring. <laughs> but at least Jody has like more of a reason for it. Like she's in a bit of a weird relationship. Her husband's away. I get that more than Harvey's like I come from a family of doctors. So I must be a boring doctor. <laughs> Have some personality, please. I beg you. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Um the next so I've now got three in joint um, with the same rating now. So I'm just going to go through. So these three have all got four out of ten from me. Four out of ten for me. Four out of ten. 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 Okay, and I'll explain for each individual one, but I'll try not to take too long because I don't want this video to be like an hour of me rambling about. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So first of all, we've got a lot of you. Good name. 
this like boat ride date I don't think that's creepy like he only takes you on that date to the middle of the sea when like you are in a st you're, you're established as pursuing him and I don't think that's weird like in real life if your partner turned around and was like I'm gonna take you on a romantic boat ride you wouldn't find that creepy like it's just because it's a video game character that people find it creepy I wondered again I really wanted to like Elliot I like that he's a writer I'm a writer I was like I'm gonna bond with this guy um, he's also one of the other first characters I met in the game and I was like wow he's beautiful but he's just so boring again <laughs> I also think, like, I've already ranted about boring characters, but, like, he's really pretentious, and it just goes on and on and on and on and on about being what he's inspired by, and, oh my god, <laughs> it just drives me insane, it drives me insane, um, like, get over yourself, dude, you're not that special, <laughs>
some of the other romances feel like you know satisfying to do um 
it's like I'm gonna have to warm to you, you know. And I like that there's more to than meets the eye. She gives me um the what is the drug called? It's like Mingo Turn Nice or something. I really like that. You immediately judge her because she's so pretty and preppy and you're immediately like I know exactly what kind of character you're going to be, that she's not. She's actually a sweetheart. I love her. I love her romance. Um, I always end up giving out so many daffodils and, like, as soon as I move in, <laughs> because I just, I want to, I want to make her happy, you know, she's just a sweetie. Um, but she's not in my top three. Well, she technically is, but she's not my top, because I feel like there was room for exploration with her character. There's room for exploration with her sister. I do like that she starts off being like, my sister is so annoying and weird, I don't know her at all. And then she ends the story being like, actually we have more in common than I first thought. I just wish that that was more developed. I don't know. Um, but I really do like her and I like the relationship between her and Emily. I think it is very engaging. Engaging, 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 <laughs> Okie dokie. The last 7 out of 10 girly is Abigail. Now, Abigail is very popular, especially with male players. Um, like, I love Abigail. I think she's a really cool character. I like this stuff. I like insinuations about her and her, her, her true heritage, her true parents and everything. I think it's really cool, really well written. I love um, how weird she is. Um, I think like the fact that she eats rocks is pretty funny. Um, and I really like her relationship with Sam and Sebastian. I think it's really cute that she's got this group of alternative people and this friendship of, you know, we're the outsiders, but we're okay with that. I really like that about her. I think she's a really cool character. I do really enjoy my interactions with her. My one gripe with Abigail is more of a gripe with, I, th I guess, the fandom, kind of. I think if you are a teenager and you romance Abigail, that's chill, dude. I get it. Like, you know, Teenagers are attracted to people who remind them of themselves. However, if you're grown, if you're grown, if you're a grown adult and you're romancing Abigail, I just think it's a bit weird. <laughs> I don't. No judgment. No judgment. Okay, a little bit of judgment. A little bit of judgment. My biggest gripe with Abigail's character is that she behaves like she's 15 years old. And she's marriageable. And I think that's weird. Like, don't get me wrong, obviously Sam and Sebastian both live with with their parents and they are supposed to be quite young. And I get that, that's fine. But with Abigail, it's, it like, it increases tenfold. Like, she's a gamer, she complains about her parents, all this stuff. And like, like I just find it weird that you can then marry her. I don't know. She just comes across like a young teenager, like 14 or 15 to me. And it's just, it's kind of off-putting. I just feel like, oh, don't flirt with me, please. I feel very uncomfy. Um, I don't know. Like, she's, she's a really cool character. I just wish she wasn't um, the most romanced because I feel like that's weird. <laughs> I just, I'm sorry, I do. I do, 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 I do. Okay, so there's a big, a big, a big. Sorry, my dog started barking, so if you see a cut in that one, that is because of my dog.
Leah. I love Leah. I love that she's an artist. She seems really down to earth and grounded. Like, whereas Elliot is so, like, he's an artist, but he's pretentious about it. I feel like Leah is, like, she's an artist, but she's an artist because she feels this connection to nature and it's not pretentious. It just comes across as really lovely. Um, and I really, really love her character. Her character, 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 character. Um, Le I, Leah's one of my favorites to romance. I really love her. Um, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Some of these are like really hard to explain because I'm just like, just look at them. <laughs> So I really, really love Leah. I think she's a great character. She's really well written. Um, I like her story as well. I love her little cottage. I wish we could move in with her instead of the other way around, but no, 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 no. Um, so, yeah, Leah is one of my top three. Um, the one gripe that I have with Leah is that her sculpture is really ugly. <laughs> I think her sculpture is ugly, I'm sorry. It just is. It's not a good sculpture. Leah, please stop. <laughs> but I do like at the, um, the ice festival that she's like carving away. She's having a great time. I really like that about her. Um, Leah, I think, is probably the person that I would be most attracted to in real life. Like, if I met someone like Leah, I'd probably have a big fat crush on them. She's my baby girl. I love her to bits, but she's not my favorite in the game. Um, okay. Also at 8 out of 10 is Sebastian. Sebastian, 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 Sebastian. I love the name Sebastian. Whoa. Um, I think Sebastian's really cool. Um, I have married Sebastian before. Um, um, I've even had kids with Sebastian. I think he's chilling, you know, he's pretty fun. Like, yeah, I think he's a cool character. I like that he is nerdy, but not like childish. I think he's a really sweet husband. He, takes care of the farm, he takes care of the character, he is gem generally, he's probably the most normal character, <laughs> like one of the most normal characters in the game, he doesn't really have that many problems, he's just a nice guy, um, who looks a bit like he was a My Chemical Romance fan back in the 2000s, but apart from that, he's a pretty cool guy, um, but he's not my favourite just because sometimes I'm just like, I don't know, I think it's weird that like, how do I explain this? How do I explain this? <laughs> I, f I do feel like his character does a bit of a 180. Like, I don't know, he's very dismissive and like, I don't, I don't want to talk to you, like, he's very, like, he has a lot of dialogue when you first move in, it's like, no, don't tell me, don't dip my tongue, nope, I don't remember your name, and it just feels like, okay, that's so rude and mean for no reason, like, I don't think his character is always very consistent, however, I do really like him, um, but he is one of the inconsistent characters in the game, <laughs> and that is going to sound really hypocritical. My favorite, my ultimate favorite, who is 9 out of 10. I mean, he's not my ultimate, ultimate favorite. I'll tell you about them in a minute. But my 9 out of 10, the top bachelor is Shane. <laughs> it's Shane. Yes, I'm one of those people. And don't, don't say I want to fix him because I don't. That's not why I like him. I like Shane because I think his story is the most realistic. I think a lot of people can relate to his struggles with depression and 
there's other problems that I don't even know if I can say on YouTube. <laughs> um, I just, I like Shane because he makes me feel like I can get better. Like, as in, my mental health can get better one day and that I will be happy one day. And, like, I have got to that point before where I've looked back at myself in the past and I've gone like, oh my god, I've come so far, I didn't even realise, like, I thought I was in a bad place. And then I looked back at how I was and I've had so much growth and development that I'm proud, I'm, I'm proud of what has, what has happened in my life. I'm proud of where I am now. And I just feel like Shane is that character that I needed to meet five years ago. Um, I really, really like Shane's story. It's touching, it's emotional, it feels like you are actually helping him. And the thing is, is that I, it really bugs me when people say, but the character just fixes him and it's all I can fix you kind of thing because it's not, it's not because Shane fixes himself. Shane, he has help to do it, but he still makes his recovery himself. He still fights for his future himself. And I just think it's really touching. And I really, really love that about him, that he's come this far and he's he's done all of these things to, to get to where he is now. I also think a lot of people are unfair to him because, first of all, people say that he continues to drink after he's given up drinking. And that's not necessarily true. Like, if you gift him beer and stuff, he will take it. But he literally has a line of dialogue where he says he actually drinks sparkling water now. He also has another line of dialogue where he's like he doesn't fully quit drinking. He just reduces it a lot. And I think people need to, need to know the difference there. I really, really love him. I just, I just really do. I love that he comes back to himself. He, he has a very successful story. And, you know, he, his relationship with Jazz is lovely. I love it. His relationship with Marnie is lovely. He's just a very well-rounded character. And I really love his character development. I could talk about it for all day long. I love him. And I think he is the perfect symbol of hope and of overcoming your difficulties. Not for other people, necessarily. And not fully because of other people either. But those people can still help you reach that point. And I, you know, I just think he's a really good character. Now, he's not 10 out of 10 because, and I'm sure you can guess where I'm going with this, it's not his fault. But the writing for Shane gets very inconsistent. He fully recovers, and then suddenly he's like a trash boy. <laughs> I have, I play with Mods now, uh, the mod that cleans up his room and like helps him like, like keep him at his eight, eight star event uh, self. But I do think that that was bad writing on Concerned Apes part. I think that was just like, you've let the character down by doing that. However, I do think some people re overreact to it a little bit, like recovery is not linear and he's not gonna be better just like that and never go back to how he was like that's not how it works but yeah so he is my number one bachelor or bachelorette now my number one character in the whole game is neither a bachelor nor a bachelorette and you I love Kropus. Kropus is a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. I love that you can move in with Kropus. That they are literally just your roommate. I really love Kropus. I... I think they're really cute. I... yeah. I'm not gonna go into, into the specifics of why Kropus is my top character because I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, but yeah. There we go. So that was my rating and ranking the Stardew Valley characters video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't played Stardew Valley, I hope this has convinced you to maybe give it a go. And if you have played Stardew Valley, let me know if you agree.